Hello everyone! Welcome back to another 1v1 battle. This is going to be Chaos versus the Vampire Counts. I have brought Kolex Sun Eater, a Shagoth, we have a Chaos Sorcerer of Death. I have a total of 4 Forsaken on the wings, and then we have 4 Chaos Warriors in the middle with great weapons. I also have a Chaos Marauder with great weapons because I had some money left over. My enemy brought a Terra Geist, Man from Karstein on the Dragon. We have a group of Felbats, a Shadow uh, Vampire here, a Frontline of um, Zombies, and we have 2 Graveguard, I believe, right here, 4 Cryptors, and then 2 Skeletal Spearmen for their army. Um... So I'm actually putting this like four minutes into the battle because it's been my Chaos Sorcerer hitting Manfred with Spirit Leech and then their Flying Force has nailed my uh, sides here. The Forsaken took a couple charges, this Forsaken took a couple charges, and we got some damage on this Vampire. We got damage on Manfred who's currently been regenerating through the Spirit Leeches a little bit. But the goal was to Spirit Leech him down so that it, it's risky to spam out their seven overcast uh, skeleton things that you see in almost every Vampire count fight now. So that was the point of taking the um, Chaos Rush for Death. Normally I wouldn't take the Spirit Leech against um, the Vampire Counts because they can just, you know, invocation to heck. But the thing is, you can see they did bring Ray's Dead. They brought um, Van Heel's Dance Macabre and then invocation to heck. And the common strat for Vampires now is just to overcast seven of their um, uh, Skeletal Warriors, which they can miscast through. And then if you're hitting them with Spirit Leech, well, then they don't have much hit points to really um, continue that overcasting because it's kind of risky. Um, but anyway, so again, it's been about four or five minutes now. I've hit him with like three different spirit leeches, and they again have assaulted me here and there. And our army is now finally going to, yes. well, they're finally going to clash here. So we got the grave guard, we got cryptors here, we got the skeletal spearmen, and then the zombies. I'm trying to ignore the zombies. I'm, I'm going to try and move my army to hit the um, left flank here. But you can see my chaos sorcerer is going to be charged in the back. I've had to be very um, active in microwing the chaos sorcerer because he's been focused down by their uh, flying units also i've miscast a couple times because i've had to overcast the uh, spirit leech due to just the range in which i had to cast it but we're going to finally get an engagement here on the left side with our forsaken against these two cryptors and the grave guard i wanted to get my um collect stunning and the shagoth in here because they do bonus damage versus the cryptors but i'm being stopped by the skeletal warrior summons um, and I don't want to get nailed in the middle of those because obviously it looks like the enemy player wants to collapse on Kolek uh, just because they have their flying units nearby him. So I was like, well, best not to engage them in the middle of a group of Skeletal Warriors. And meanwhile, we've got some Chaos Warriors on Graveguard over here. More Cryptors are coming in against my um, Chaos Warriors. And I'm kind of just waiting for Manfred von Karstein and them to come down because, well, they're all positioned in a way that you know they want to charge me. And here they come. So they're going to charge down with the Terror Geist and the Vampire Count of... Um, of shadows and then we're going to go on the vampire because Manfred isn't down here yet we're going to get the shag off my chaos sorcerer and Kolek and then finally Manfred comes down so we're going to switch targets to Manfred who has already taken so much damage through overcast and uh, spirit leeches so I just need to hit him a couple times we hit him a couple times and he's actually going to be able to get out of this fight so we're going to focus again on the um, I think the terror guys no actually we're hitting the fell bass right here but we should be focused on the terror guys uh, meanwhile my front line though uh, is kind of currently losing to all of the cryptors because my anti-large is focused on trying to kill this terror guys, uh, the vampire counts, and uh, man from on Karstein, which is not great. A couple of my units are over here being held up by the skeletal warriors. We're going to give them new attack orders uh, here soon. Going to rush these uh, chaos warriors into the skeletal spearmen to try to keep them away from Kolex Sun Eater because he's already taken so much damage. We have an invocation of the heck going down on this massive uh, unit of troops, and now we're trying to focus down on the vampire of uh, shadows. And Manfred's going to come back here. And as he was charging in, I was moving Kolek to try and make sure that the charge damage didn't go off. I'm trying as much as I can to actually micro Kolek at this point to make sure that he doesn't get killed. And I can see the Terror guys chasing him, so we're going to run away as the um, Shagoth is going to get hits on him along with the Chaos Sorcerer. And I'm just doing what I can to keep him away from the Terror guys so he can, we can get some free hits with the other units. And I'm now sending a group of Chaos Warriors to try and uh, tie him down. Meanwhile, Kolek is going to go over here against the Vampire of Shadows. Manfred's going to land us, so we're going to try and collapse on him, but he's just doing these quick hit and runs and not actually really doing hard engages. Again, meanwhile, my Forsaken and Chaos Warriors over here are getting destroyed by these Cryptors because I'm too focused on the Terra Geist and Manfred von Karstein for good reasons because they're trying to kill me. Uh, but over here, we do manage to kill the Vampire of Shadows. He's going to cast some Lightning over here against the Grave Guard. And here comes Manfred, and again, I am moving to try and negate the uh, charge damage here, and we're going to uh, escape from possible death. And they're going to come in for a charge. Do massive amount of damage, then we're going to run out. We're just charging in, run out, because these Cryptor is now chasing me. Chaos Horse is over here dealing with some zombies currently. Trying to dodge the Terra Geist here. And get my Shagoth over here to assist me with the Terra Geist. 
Doing whatever I can to keep Kolek alive, because, well, that's, they're trying to kill him. But the problem is here, I, I'm not applying any, any damage to these Cryptors, really, so they are actually wiping out my uh, front line here. Shagoth is going to give him this Terror, guys. Do a good hit. And I believe we take it down here, as Manfred is going to chase off uh, Kolek now, because he's broken. And he's going to be chased off the map. Here goes a group of zombies to try and help the Terror, guys, I guess. Okay, Astoros and Shagoth are going to bring down the Terror, guys. And, but the thing is, we still have... A lot of Cryptors to deal with, and what remains of my army is out here on the wings. I'm going to get them into the fight uh, here soon. But my core force here has been kind of butchered by the massive amount of Cryptors, because I didn't have any anti-large there to deal with them, because my Shagoth and Kolek were busy dealing with the Terror guys, the Vampire Lord, or Vampire Counts. The Vampire. She's just called a Vampire. And uh, Manfred von Karth's side. So now Kolek is going to be ch chased off the field. We're going to get some decent damage on these Cryptors with the Shagoth, because this is what he does. Shagoth is good at killing Cryptors. So I'm going to keep him on these Cryptors to try and continue to kill him and running away from all these summoned units because there's no reason to fight them. Getting some of our Forsaken back into the battle. But my main concern here is all of the Cryptors that are still up. So I'm going to try and focus them down. Bringing some of our more units into uh, combat that ran off originally. They're coming back in. And you see we are just piecing these uh, Cryptors down as they continually try to run away from us. And they're trying to get us bogged down by these zombies in the Graveguard. But I'm not going to let that happen. So we're just going to stay on these Cryptors. Meanwhile, my Chaos Warriors have not much of a chance against these Cryptors here. So I'm going to go over here and try to assist them. But they are going to start routing. And that's going to do a, a mass route here. Uh, so the only thing left I have is the Chaos Sorcerer of Death, who has no Winds of Magic left. And then we have the Shagoth. And you can see the zombies are still trying to get around the Shagoth. I'm just concerned about killing the Cryptors. As you can see, the enemy is trying to kite me with the Cryptors here because they know what I'm doing. So now I'm going to do a disengage here. Because we still do have a pretty healthy group of Chaos Warriors. And then the uh, Ma Marauders, I believe, right here. Not much left, although these Forsaken came back. I think I'm going to whip them around. You see Manfred is terrifying people. Now he's um, going to go after my Chaos Sorcerer of Death, so I'm going to get the Shagoth who was going after some more Cryptors. I'm going to pull him over here to try and kill Manfred instead, because he wants to try and kill my Chaos uh, Sorcerer. So we're going to pull him kind of on guard duty against this Chaos Sorcerer as these uh, summon units are continually dying. And I want these units to come back from routing, which is possible if we can keep them free of enemy units. And you can see Manfred is just like one, maybe two good hits away from death. He's going to charge down the Chaos Sorcerer. He's going to summon yet another group of zombies. Not skeletons, though, because he can't really risk overcasting. I wish he did. There we go. One good hit. And Melvin needs one more hit. Oh, no, but Melvin needs one more hit. Oh, and fucking 80 hit points left. 80 hit points left. He's going to run away. And he doesn't crumble here, which I thought was insane. But I guess maybe just because the balance of power bar was so in their favor that he's not going to crumble. So, again, I'm going to try and run my Kolek here to... Um, or not my Kolek. My Shag out there to protect my Cast Horse for Death. Because... Manfred at this point can't really risk coming down here and getting hit again. Um, so my Chaos Sorcerer is now back, and I'm going to try and get these two back. Their morale is coming back slowly, so I'm going to run interception on these Cryptors. And you see their forces kind of all spread out. The Shagoth is still very healthy, uh, besides just being tired. So just trying to keep my leadership around these two units so that they will come back. Manfred is... Where did Manfred go? He's over here. 80 hit points. Moving. Going. 80. Moving. I'm just doing some Arcane Conduit. I want to try and get 8. Uh, I think it's 8 mana for Spirit Leech. But I'm at like 5 right now. And I have like no Winds of Magic. So it's just. Uh, I'm like all I need is one Spirit Leech. That's all I need on this guy. And he's dead. But I'm not. I'm, spoiler alert. I'm not going to get enough mana to uh, cast Spirit Leech unfortunately. So right now, I'm just cutting the enemy army, letting their uh, summon units die, which I think is only just going to be this one zombie unit, because again, there's no reason for me to engage against them. So that's what we're doing right here. And I think at this point in the battle, there's like eight minutes left? Maybe seven, something like that? So it's been a very long fight, because we had a long um, beginning that, again, I didn't show. That was just me using Spear Leeches and them coming down and charging my army. Wasn't really all that exciting. And again, I'm just waiting for those zombie summons to die. For the 
But over here, the Cryptoras come charging in. This almost full unit of Cryptoras. And you can see they don't want me to charge them with the Shagoth. So they're trying to bait me into these zombies. I'm not going to take that with my Shagoth. But I will let, let these warriors charge in. And then I'm going to do another charge here. That's still a lot of Cryptoras. And right now, I believe my Shagoth is moving to engage against this group. Because I see that they are closer to death. So we're going to start fighting them. Uh, my Chaos Sorcerer took a couple hits here, and you can see he's being chased by the Cryptors, and so he's going to route, and I believe he's going to route off the field at this point. Shagoth still is relatively healthy, though, so just trying to get some hits on these Cryptors. And you see Manfred's going to come down and chase off my Chaos Sorcerer. So doing some good damage against this one. Um, the zombies aren't really much to worry about, but the Cryptors are, and obviously these Grave Guard are as well. So there we go, my Chaos Sorcerer is now gone. My other warriors have routed. Uh, now it's just gonna basically be my Shagoth, who has dealt a significant blow to this group of Cryptors. I'm trying to finish them off here. Not sure why he's screaming at the ground. And I'm like, well, this is just too much. I'm getting kind of bogged down here with a bunch of units. So I'm going to try and run run out. Then do another hit. Then run. Then do another hit, I think. I just don't want Colette to be totally surrounded is what I'm trying to prevent here. Or keep calling Colette the, the Shagoth. While still trying to maintain some decent damage on these Cryptors. And there we go. That Cryptor group is now dead. I think I do maybe a hit or two against this Grave Guard. And now I'm going to try and chase down these Cryptors. Because it's clear they do not want to engage. They want to just let the zombies kill me. So we're going to do charge here. And they're going to get a surround on me. Or at least they're going to try to. You can see Red Fury has been cast on the uh, Cryptors. So I'm like, nope. Nope. No reason to fight them right now. We're going to let the Red Fury just die off. As best I can, so we're trying to run away from them at this point. Although they are going to get a couple good hits in. So at this point I'm like, well, I got to just engage them. At least we... Yeah, it's, we wasted some of the Red Fury time, but not all of it. Zombie's going to be cast down again. So I'm going to try and run away from them. And this entire time, I'm just hoping that Manfred will just try and get overconfident and just land to try and finish me off and like make me run in terror and that's what I'm banking on because if Manfred dies I think this is in the bag and that's what I'm waiting on and again I'm just sitting here kiting so the uh, grave guard and the zombies can't surround me so I'm only dealing with the cryptors but unfortunately um, this is going to make my Shagoth finally route the leadership is finally going to break and then of course Manfred comes in at the very end um and that's it. That's going to be it. Good game. I lost against the vampire counts in this one. So good game to my opponents. Hope you enjoyed that one. So the kills here, we have Kolek with seven. Not that impressive, but he did do a lot of damage to Manfred and the Terror Geist and the vampire. He actually killed the vampire, so that's not bad. Uh, the front line of troops, I think, did okay, considering they were fighting against four Cryptors, of which I didn't have any damage or, like, anti-large damage to fight them down because my anti-large was tied up in killing their heroes and then the um, Terror Geist. Maybe if I brought another Dragon Ogre group, maybe this could have been different, but like, I mean, how am I supposed to know that they're going to be bringing four Cryptors? That's a big part of this game is army composition. Sometimes you honestly can just lose in army composition. This is not a guaranteed loss. Like, the four Cryptors is scary, but this is not a guaranteed loss. But sometimes they're definitely, a, you just look at an army, and you already know. You see the army across the battlefield, you're like, shit, this is going to be bad. And I did think that when I saw the four Cryptors, I was like, shit, this is going to be hard. Um, but still, even though they were under assault by the Cryptors, I think my front line still did pretty okay. Although, a lot of those kills are probably just zombies, so that's actually not that impressive. Uh, Shagoth was my MVP here, but could not pull it through in the end. Uh, eight kills on Manfred, four on the Vampire Count, uh, the Vampire of Shadows. She brought the, I think she brought the Direct Damage spell, the Mystifying Miasma, and then the Debuff. Um, I can't remember what it's called, the Single Target Debuff, that's pretty good. Zombies did okay, Frontline did okay, really it was just the Cryptors here, and then um, 
the Terra guys did a lot of damage to Kolek, but uh, probably a lot of the damage that they dealt was through the summon units here, but we can't see those. But yeah, Cryptor is definitely, I think, MVPs there, and um, man, Manfred, 80 hit points. It's just like the ultimate tease. One hit away. Ultimate tease. But again, hope you enjoyed that battle, and let's watch a uh, cinematic view. Run for second. I think right here I was moving my entire army in a new position, which is why they had their backs in the Cryptor's. With my army composition, you could probably tell I was expecting more Grave Guard with great weapons than I was Cryptors. Skeleton Warriors. And here we go with the Terra guys chasing down Kolek. Shagoth is a really solid unit. I don't think I bring them enough. And the Dragon Ogre is really good too. Maybe that's what I should do next time. I'll just bring, like, my hero squad would be Kolek, Shagoth, and a group of Dragon Ogres. That would be pretty effective. Let me do the counter charge, hit him in the face. And then he's gonna rat off the field. Kolek, you coward! You coward! Actually, he hasn't routed yet. He's about to be a coward. I think now he's routing. Here we go, chasing these Cryptoras to death.
Chaos cowards. Or fuck, check off. I gotta kill it. I don't know why. All we needed was one hit. That's all I needed. Shag off. Why? I needed one more. Bet those axes aren't Halberds, huh? Shit! <laughs> Knocked four people down. That's pretty cool. Not sure why he screams at the ground right here. And then attacks the ground. I don't know. Like, he just. I guess really hated that patch of dirt. So that's basically the end. We'll watch the last engagement. My poor Shagoth. Uh, the reason why I was disengaging here is because um, Manfred did the standard die or un undeath resurgent. So I was trying to, I was going to kite that until it's ended. But then I think he got like attacked in the rear penalties and then dropped his leadership. That's going to be it. So again, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.